Scratch is a block based programming language that is used to create video games and I'm going to use it to create GTA. 3D games have been made using Scratch, but I'm going to go for a 2D approach so I don't have to create a 3D engine from scratch, literally. And the first thing I did was get a character. So I found a free character and dropped it right into the game. Then I threw in some code and made him move. Right now you can't tell that he's moving, but you're just going to have to trust me here. Then I grabbed a place for the character to walk from the internet as well. Add a little bit of code, now the player can move in the game. Then I added some animation to the player so he actually looks like he's walking. Right now the player can walk across the building and that's not how it works in real life. So I added some collisions to the building so that the character can't walk through the buildings. I want the character to be able to shoot guns, an essential part of GTA. And unfortunately the character I downloaded only has a pistol. So I hopped into paint.net and edited the character so that he can have two more guns, an assault rifle and a rocket launcher. Then I added some code to make the guns shoot at different firing rates. The pistol shoots slow, the assault rifle shoots super fast, but the rocket launcher shoots the slowest. But it spawns explosions, so that's cool. Now I have the essential parts of GTA, minus what GTA stands for, Grand Theft Auto. So I need to add stealing cars, well, let me first add a car then deal with stealing later. So I found some cars on the internet as well, see a trend here? and added them to the game. I spawned them in a parking lot and then I put in some code into the cars and now you can drive the cars. Driving around the city is pretty fun. The player can now enter any single car they want and drive it. And there are seven different cars in the game that the player can access, all of different speeds and durability. Take this regular car for instance and compare it to the speed of this supercar. Big difference. But what will make the game even more fun is adding NPC drivers into the game. The NPC drivers spawn from these nine points in the map. The cars can be interacted with by the player, they can be shot at, blocked with other cars, and if the player wants, can be hijacked. On the topic of adding liveliness to the game, I'm going to add some civilians. The civilians can be killed with bullets or ran over. Okay, that's enough playing around with the civilians. Let me add in some UI cause that's what the game is missing right now. The player can't see their health or the current weapon they're equipping. So let's add that right now. And now that I'm done, we have a very clear problem. There are no consequences for killing the civilians. So I added the famous GTA wanted levels to combat this problem. So if you shoot at a civilian or a car, your wanted level is going to increase, but only the civilian cars. These cars are fine. Wanted levels are useless without reinforcement though. So that's where the police come in, ready to take you to jail if you attempt to break the law. Each star unlocks a different durability of police. One star, the police is just going to chase you and once they catch you, you're gonna get busted. But once you pass one star, two stars, that's where the police begins to use deadly force. Basically a pistol. Police drive towards you with cars once the player reaches three wanted levels and at four wanted levels the police starts using assault rifles and at five wanted levels the police brings in the big guns, the tanks. All these wanted levels can disappear if you don't commit any crimes for a certain amount of time. So for one wanted level you just have to not commit a crime for 30 seconds but for four wanted levels you have to wait 150 seconds while the police are shooting you try to maneuver and dodge it and once you, once you don't hit them then you're good, you're Gucci, they're gonna leave you alone. So right now this health bar doesn't work and the police having bullets don't matter if the player doesn't have health so that's what I added next. I made the health display actually show how much health the player has and we're gonna have it 100 and every time they get hit by a bullet they lose 10 health points. If the player wants any more health they can get it by killing civilians or killing a police. Now right now the player is just running around and doing whatever they want and having no purpose. So let me add a storyline in the game basically adding a mission. Missions are another essential part of GTA games and this will give the player some purpose. The mission is pretty simple. Go to a location and receive the mission. Go to the package location, shoot up some enemies, then go back to the location and deliver the package. And if you wanna play the game, it's in the link in the description. 
And that right there is how I made GTA in Scratch. If you want to create GTA in Scratch, I have a tutorial teaching just that. And there's a link in the description for that, or you can press the video to your right.